Check it out, Casper! So first thing first, let's take a quick look around the map offline to see what's changed. First thing I'm going to do is turn on no clip, and I'm going to fly right up into the air and take a look at the map from above. So what we can see is the normal blue spawn here, and immediately you'll notice that we've got the intelligence hanging over here. And you'll see it's actually quite far away. There's no way you can jump from that log up to here. You've got to use the grappling hook to do it, because every class has got the grappling hook, so you can get over there as any class. Another thing you'll notice is that they've actually blocked this off so it's not a route through here anymore where the cart would normally go. I think this area will be great for defending from as it will be quite difficult for say the red team in this instance to get into here and take out a sentry nest from that door or that door and you can closely guard your intelligence from there. They've also blocked off this route here which means you can't come out up here anymore. That's all blocked off. There's a uh, there's no path there. So similarly, there's no path to come out here. Just quickly turned off no clip so I can show you this flank here. I am so impressed with this flank. When I noticed it, I thought this is excellent. I really want them to add this into the normal payload Thunder Mountain. I think this is just adds a great little layer, gets rid of a little bit too choky point. I would love to see soldiers and demo man flying up here at the start from blue and trying to take out some sentry nests early on in the game. Moving a bit further on, there's a little change here where they've added this balcony. As you can see here, a power-up is going to spawn here. I haven't actually played yet, so I don't know if that will be a higher level power-up, but we will play and we will find out. Before we go and look at the main changes on this map, I just want to point out that the door down there no longer exists, which means that the whole under area doesn't exist, so there's no stair there anymore. Bit of a pointless big open area here, but it's not too bad. And then therefore the stairs that normally come out by here no longer exist either. While I'm stood right next to it, I want to say I think it's awesome that this railing is gone, so now you can jump up there, crouch jump up there, without... But basically, there's no way around that. You had to go all the way around before. Of course, you can just grapple and hook up there in manpower, but I think this is something I would love to see them add in the normal Thunder Mountain. Just get rid of that railing so people can jump up and go backwards across there. So here's the big difference on the map. Just going to turn no clip back on, and you'll see that instead of the final point here where, it's, where the cart dies, this is actually only halfway through the map. You go through this area and then it's the whole map again twisted 180 degrees. So it's a rotational symmetry as opposed to a, as opposed to a mirror image. It's like the same thing just turned 180 degrees. So all the same things I just told you about. A little flank route in here. The fact this is blocked off. You can't go through there. And the flag. It's all exactly the same on red and blue sides. You might be worrying, oh my god, is that the only way through? That's really choky. Well, fortunately, no. If we just go back around here, I'll turn no clip off. And if we go up here where you'd normally be able to shoot out the windows. They've actually blocked off these windows, which I think isn't a bad thing. Uh, Power-up spawns here. But here's another route through between the two different halves. And of course, as it is rotationally symmetrical, you've got the same route over on this side as well. So those are basically the main differences between this CTF Thunder Mountain and the normal Thunder Mountain, Payload Thunder Mountain. So now I'm going to go play the map, and if you're interested in watching a post-commentary of me playing this map with the new power-up, the knockout power-up, click the annotation on the screen. And either way, thanks for watching this video.